Hello friends, welcome to Easy Homemade Projects. In today's video, I will show you that how you can draw a schematic diagram using Easy EDA free online software and then how you can make a good looking PCB design like this one and then how you can order it to JLC PCB for physical PCBs. So please watch the complete video. Ok guys, so first of all we will need to go to easyda.com As you can see here, this one is their official website So this one is the home page of their website You will need to log into their website I already logged in But the login procedure is very simple and easy Pretty similar to any other website You can also download the PC version of the software by pressing this download tab for online schematic and PCB designing we will need to click on this tab and after that you will see these two options this one is student edition and this one is pro edition I personally like student edition because it is very simple and easy to use but obviously the pro edition have many more features and designing capabilities so now I will select this student edition a new window will open like this and uh, here we can create our new project this window will appear so we can change or rename our project here and after that we can save it after saving the project this window will appear before starting our schematic diagram let me tell you about the tabs and the menus on this page so first of all you can see here project tab so all your saved projects will be appear here and the next tab is design manager all your placed components and their wiring nets will be appear here and the next tab is common library which consists of all commonly used components like ground, the resistor and uh, all these capacitors male and female header pins, some LEDs, voltage regulators and these LCDs so we can choose any commonly used components from this library and the next is main library of EZEDA and LCSC.com so we can choose any component or we can search any component by typing any keyword here for example if I want to search a transistor like BC547 so I will put this here and then I will search as you can see all these options are displayed here so I can choose anyone we can also check the price and the availability of the component as you can see this component is 1990 in stock and uh, this is the price you can check the symbol and the footprint and also the physical shape of the component so after selecting this you can place it to your schematic diagram you can zoom in and uh, zoom out with the mouse wheel you can drag and the entire page with right mouse button and uh, you can select any component with left mouse button and uh, the next tab is LCSC official website link and the other next is JLC PCB official website link so here are some menus pretty similar to any other software so the first one is file menu so we can create new project schematic PCB symbol footprint or 3D model we can also open an existing EZDA file or any other project from these PCB designing softwares we can also save import and export in this menu and the next menu is edit menu so we can perform all these functions here and we can also use these shortcuts to perform all these actions and the next menu is place menu so we can place all these things in this menu we can also use these shortcuts and uh, we can also use all these tools with the help of this wiring tool and this drawing tool 
the next menu is format menu so we can change the rotation and alignment of any component let me show you for example here you can see this register so if we want to rotate this we can rotate it from here or we can simply press the space button on keyboard to rotate the component we can also use all these options in this menu and the next menu is about the visibility of the page you can also check this out and the next menu is design menu so after creating the schematic diagram we will need to convert this schematic diagram to pcb so we can click on this tab the next menu is tool menu so you can simulate your project in this menu and you can also use all these functions and the next menu is fabrication so you can simply export your bill of materials also you can order your parts and pcbs in advanced menu you can use all these functions and in setting menu you can change the shortcuts and the user preferences system settings and these language settings so guys that's it for the menus and the tabs so now let me tell you a little bit about the workplace of the software so you can draw your schematic here inside this box and if you think that uh, your schematic will be larger than this box so you can change the size of this box simply click on this and uh, on the right side you can change the size of this box as you can see here here on the right side you will see all the properties of the selected object for example if i place a register here and then i select it you can see that all the properties of this register are visible on the right side similarly you can see all the properties of uh, any component on this side okay guys so now we are going to start drawing our schematic diagram so first of all we will place all the required components we can also choose components from their subcategories as i told you before that we can rotate any component by pressing space bar on the keyboard now we will place three resistors and now a ground and a dc power jack okay guys so i placed all the required components so now we will make the wiring connections using wiring tool so this tool will be used our simple schematic diagram is complete so now we will convert it to a beautiful pcb design at this point we can also export the bill of material file by pressing this icon if you notice that any component is missing information here so you can easily assign a component from lcsc library as you can see that these 1k registers have no part assigned yet so we can assign a part from lcsc library by clicking on this link so a page will open like this so we can explore the part as you can see that part number is assigned correctly so now we will convert this schematic to pcb design we can click on this icon or we can simply select it from design tab a new window will appear like this one so you can change the size and shape of pcb here 
लाइक रेक्टेंगुलर सर्कुलर राउंड रेक्टेंगुलर एंड इवन कस्टम पी सी बी सो आई विल चूज दिस राउंड रेक्टेंगुलर हेयर वी कैन सेट द विथ ऑफ पी सी बी एंड हेयर वी कैन सेट द हाइट ऑफ पी सी बी एंड हेयर वी कैन सेट द कॉर्नर रेडियस ऑफ पी सी बी now we will place all these components inside this pcb here are all the required tools to make the pcb so first of all here is a track tool so we can draw all the tracks with the help of this tool we can draw pads and we can place any text we can draw all these shapes and we can make holes with this tool and we can also import a logo to pcb with this tab and similarly you can see all the layers of pcb here so you can choose any layer to edit by selecting it from here like this one and you can also hide or unhide any layer by pressing this i button so now we will draw the tracks to our pcb there are two ways to draw the tracks on pcb uh, the one is manual and the other one is automatic so i will tell you about both of them first of all if you want to draw tracks manually you will need to choose this tool and uh, here you can change the width of the track currently it is 0.25 mm i will set it to 1 mm and uh, here you can change the angle of the track i will leave it as it is first of all we will need to select the layer to draw tracks so currently first of all we will select the bottom layer these blue and white lines will guide you to draw the tracks so guys this is how you can draw the tracks manually now we can check the drc errors as you can see there is no drc error let me tell you about the automatic method so first we will need to unroute this and uh, now we will auto route here you can also change the properties and uh, then you can start as you can see auto routing is also complete with zero drc errors now we will put some text on our pcb first we will select top silk layer and uh, then this text here and uh, then we double click on it to edit we can change the size of text from here like this and uh, now we will make the holes at the corners of the pcb with this tool and now we will save it okay guys our pcb is now complete now we can check it in 2d and 3d view 
with these options so this one is 2d view and here is the 3d view as you can see our PCB is looking good now I will tell you that how we can export the Gerber files and then how we can order them to JLC PCB for physical PCBs here you can see a Gerber icon so click on that so you will see a window like this one so at this point you can download your Gerber files or simply you can order them to JLC PCB by clicking on this link a new JLC PCB page will open like this one and it will automatically upload your Gerber files so here you can change some PCB parameters like the thickness of the PCB and the color of the PCB so nothing else need to change and if you don't want PCB assembly then you can simply uncheck this icon and uh, you will get your five pieces of high quality PCBs just in two dollars so after that you can save it to cart and after that make a payment and place your order so guys that's it for today's video i hope you will like my this tutorial and uh, after watching this tutorial you will be able to design your first pcb so guys share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe